Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my city living let's play. So it's basically the same evening as we ended the last part on. Uh, Ruben has come to work on his writing skill so for his job it says he needs to level up the writing skill and <laughs> he's already done that so that's awesome. How? Why is it not checked it up? Hmm. He's gained one so I guess we'll just wait for him to do that and Nicole and um, Emma are watching a movie together it's a Sunday night it's a bit of a family night <laughs> even though Re Ruben is in the other room playing on the computer <laughs> these two are watching long lost dog or something she's really cute oh she's scooting along to talk to her mum oh what was that we found some money on the sofa that's awesome Cool. Oh dear, that wasn't a great face. <laughs> what are they talking about? Aww. <laughs> They're crying over the film, that's so sweet. But she needs to get to bed because it's quite late and she's got school tomorrow. How are you getting on, Ruben? Uh, you should be writing, why aren't you writing? Write a column. Okay, try that. Since you want to be a critic, I suppose writing a column is a good plan. He wants to write for one hour whilst inspired, so let's buy him the lamp. Table lamps. Um, focusing. Environment. Inspiring. There we go. That should help him out a lot. Um, and we're going to enable the aura. So you should be feeling inspired. There we go. I'm still enjoying the movie. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's like, whoa. Oh, bless. So after that, I think we're going to get everybody to head to bed. I haven't changed the lights in this apartment to auto so we're gonna do that oh she's feeling bored you call you could call that movie the sleeper of the year emphasis on sleeper oh so I think you should go to bed young lady you're not that tired but you got school tomorrow so oh did he did he finish writing well, he's going to put himself to bed by himself, so that's fine. And I probably will jump forward till the morning, so I see you in a bit. Oh, it says it's too noisy for Ruben to sleep right now. Why is it noisy? We have nothing. Oh my gosh. Why are you angry, Ruben? Noisy neighbours from neighbour situation on the apartment floor. Right, we're going to go and send... Oh my god, you rude people. Right, we're going to go and pound on the door. Nicole does not take any prisoners. Don't yell at the toy. Come here and protect your wife. Oh, everybody's got noisy neighbours. Right, Nicole's going to sort this out. Oh my gosh. Come on, Nicole. Pound on the door again. Oh, hello. Don't you talk to us about that. We're going to give him a rude intro. <laughs> She's knocking on the door again. No, we're going to give this guy a rude introduction. Nicole does not take any prisoners. Don't you have a go at us, mate? We're going to complain uh, angrily about the noise. Come on, Ruben. You get involved as well. I'm sorry, you're right, that was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbour. Yeah, too right. Now turn it off, please. That's it, Ruben's having a go, but he let his wife go first. <laughs> there we go. Cool, right, they should shut up now. <laughs> and let our sims get to bed. We can't be having this, we've got to start our first day of work tomorrow. Let's let Nicole have some salad, she can calm down with some salad. Can you guys turn the music off now? There we go. He's going to go sleep. That's cool. And Emma, you better go to sleep as well. 
Home sweet home from home turf trait. I still don't know what this thing is. We're going to go and read this note and see what this note stuff is all about. Are people like rude or... Can we go see what this is all about? What's this say? Oops, did we read it? Does she have to take it inside? Hey, you! That's a bit creepy. Ask to leave. Remember to live life to the fullest. Don't waste those hours in front of the computer. Go spend some time enjoying the worlds outside your window. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. We're going to tell this guy to leave because it's a bit creepy that our neighbour's just randomly standing over our daughter's bed. Please leave. She's like, I'm sorry. I just can't put up with this. You're going to have to go. Goodbye. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out. We didn't invite you to hang out. <laughs> We're going to grab the rest of our salad and then go to sleep. <laughs> so I will try again to join you guys back in the morning. Okay, it's morning and Ruben has just got a phone call. Incoming alarm. Work for Ruben starts in about one hour. What would you like to do? Go to work, work from home or take personal time off? Um, I think we're actually going to go to work. So he's going to get up he's got going an hour gosh he works early and then we're gonna get him to um serve some breakfast we're gonna go for some fruit salad he starts early i like the uh early wake up alarm though that's pretty cool emma hasn't got to go to school for a while so what time does he actually start yep he starts at 6 a.m gosh i think he's gonna have to take a quick he's gonna have to have a quick meal of cereal. So, critic level one, get those papers from one end of the office to the other. Go. Next promotion, story researcher. So, he's only a paper delivery person at the moment. <laughs> How would you work from home if you're a paper delivery person? Oh, he's got some cereal. After that stressful night, we haven't made a good impression on our neighbours, but Nicole, she really doesn't care. She just doesn't care who she upsets. She just wants to get her beauty sleep. <laughs> Ruben, you better hurry up with that cereal because you've got to go to work. Oops, Emma's awake. No, you're not going to have salad for breakfast. Why don't you um, go to the toilet and we'll get your mum to serve you some breakfast. I got the scoop that some crazy partner is happening at the bluffs right now. Want to check it out? No, not at 6.20 in the morning, I'm afraid. So he's going to head off to his first day of work in the critic career. I'm so excited. <clears throat> oh my god, protest for World Unite here. Oh my gosh, we could protest? We have acquired the cooking skill. That's awesome. Come on, your mum is busy preparing breakfast, so just come here and wait. <laughs> She's like, Mum, is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Practice singing. <laughs> oh, bless her for trying. My mum's probably like, oh gosh, that's really bad. Oh, she's so out of tune. Okay, Nicole's incoming alarm. She's going to go to work as well. And let's get her some breakfast. I hope this is for all careers, the alarm. I think that's quite handy. <coughs> Enjoying your fruit salad that your mum made? Hopefully. We need to earn some money though, because our rent, I think, for this apartment is quite a bit. It's like over a small. Ugh, it's over a thousand simoleons a week. So we're going to have to really work our socks off to be able to pay for the apartment. Otherwise, we might have to get a lodger. <laughs> but I don't think they want to do that because they've lived under the shadow of other people before. So. They love having their own home. 
let's teach her her valuable lesson. I think Nicole would be quite a strict mum. She'd be restrict, strict about like homework and stuff. And I think that's why maybe Emma's a little bit yeah. rebellious. Nicole is outgoing. Outgoing Sims need to socialise more often, but are emotionally strengthened by doing so. Aw. We're going to express our admiration for her. And we're going to brighten her day. She should be going to school soon, though. Yep, you're going to be late, young lady. It is your mum's fault for chatting to you. Let her eat her breakfast so she can get to school. And since she's a sociable sim, I think I'm going to get her to um, make friends. Oh, let's get him research stories at work. Even though that's not his job, but he's going to do it anyway. Come on, you've got to get to work as well. How is she feeling? Happy. Oh, she likes the decorations in her house. That's good. Cool. Oop. Is this one of our neighbours? Oh, she disappeared. Damn. Come on, Nicole, you got to get to work. Right, so they're all off for the day, so I guess we'll just have to... Um, let's see what time Ruben finishes. He went first, so he should be back as soon as he's at work until 11am. Gosh, he'll be back any minute then. So let's just fast forward. He's feeling fine. There we go, he is back from work and he's bored. Today may have been the most boring day at work ever. Aww. So let's get him to have a shower. And he wants to write. Uh, practice writing is his job. Uh, task. I wonder if we could maybe... Do they have laptops? I feel like I want to go somewhere. Practice our writing somewhere. So... Do, 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 electronics. Computers. Do we have a laptop? Can you write on a tablet? I think you can. I guess we could try and see if there's a cafe around. Let's go and travel. He's hungry anyway, so we can go and grab food somewhere. We're going to go and travel. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going on our own. After he's taken a shower. Bless him. He had a boring day's work. Yeah, I'm going to get Emma to make friends. And Nicole... <laughs> Mm. Fight the power, but that lo that lowers work performance. So I don't really want to do that. Come on, Ruben. I like the fact that he starts work early and finishes early. It means we haven't got a whole house empty um, all day, so that's good. So we're going to head somewhere. I'm wondering if there's like an internet cafe around or something. I'm not sure. We'll have a look. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a gym. We've got a park. Karaoke bar. Some more flats here. Is this actually a home? Let's go to the old salt house. I don't know what it is. Um, we're going to go find out. Okay, we're here. No idea what it is. Oh, it's actually somewhere somebody lives. <laughs> I thought it was like somewhere we could go in. Hmm. What's going on out here? This is the food place. Well, he's hungry anyway, so... Oh, is it closed? Oh, That's produce. We don't want to buy produce. We want to buy some actual food. What's... That's the bathroom. What's this building? Can we go in here? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> what time are these open then? None of these are playable? That's an apartment. That's an apartment. That's not playable. Oh dear, what do we do? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a protest going on. Oh, he's joined in. He's joined in anyway. What are you protesting about? I love the fact that he just did that of his own accord. Oh, this is open now. We're going to go and get some food. 
Let's haggle first of all. <coughs> He's feeling confident, making a difference. Everyone loves the feeling of having their voice heard. So this is Nina Caliente is serving today. And of course Eliza Pancakes is here. She's always here. Ooh. Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. Ooh. Well, we're going to order something anyway because we're hungry. <laughs> hey, can we... Oh, damn, I thought we could steal that. <laughs> Where are you going? Embarrassed from failing to haggle. Some Sometimes the price of trying to lowball is failure and shame, mostly shame. <laughs> He's so into protest and he's straight over there. <laughs> Let's get some food then. Ooh, curry. Be oh gosh, bell puree, samosa. We're going to get a curry. And we go chat to these lovely ladies. Oh, everyone jumped out. Did we get our curry? Oh well, we'll just eat this. <laughs> oh no, we did get the curry. Oh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> don't order the curry. Eat this. Oh, damn. Can we steal that from you? <laughs> yes, we stole her curry. Oh, gosh. I feel so bad. Get to know. We're going to infuse her about vegetarianism and try and turn her to our cause. Oh, gosh. Why is everyone jumping out? Hmm. This is very strange. Oh dear, this is not good at all. It looks like Reuben isn't used to eating spicy food, like Bell Puri. With time and practice, he will be able to eat the spicy foods around and some kind of spice sound. Oh, what? Um, yeah, I don't really know what happened, why they kept glitching out over there. So we're going to um join the protest. He's had something to eat, so he's happy. Oh my god, look at what this guy's wearing. I mean, jeez. Jeez Louise. You are a character, sir. You are a character for sure. Oh, damn. Want to get a better screenshot of him. Oh, my gosh. What are they actually even protesting about? Jeez, it's a bit scary this. Spicy burn, it burns. Eating spicy food can make Sims uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel like I want to steal some more food. I don't know why they're glitching out when they sit at the table. We'll just have a chat to this lady. We're going to infuse about vegetarianism and we're going to ask about her day. And we're going to ask her baby's due date. Nice work, Nicole did some superb work. I brought her in 112. Emma is done with school and she's satisfactory. Reuben is vegetarian. Vegetarian sims avoid food made with meat, such as chicken, beef and fish. These sims also make it sick from consuming foods made with meat. Cool. We've learned that she's vegetarian as well, so that's cool. And she has the same hair as our wife. <laughs> So let's bring Nicole here and let's bring Emma here. Emma's good, so why don't we get her to do our homework? And Nicole is going to go and start a protest of her own, for her own cause. What does she need to do for work? Successfully promote cause, not started. So she needs to do that. Congratulations, Reuben has taken his first steps on the culinary journey towards through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try more food. Oh, he's going to support his wife. He's like, yeah. We're going to watch her protest and just be super proud. Oh, look, we've got people joining. 
Emma's doing our homework and then she can eat this curry. Haha, <laughs> we are so eating for free today. She looks mean. I think I'd be scared of Nicole if I ever met her. <laughs> Emma's probably just like, my parents are so embarrassing. Nancy Langrab, you're looking very fashionable with your socks and sandals. Oh dear, this is really weird, this glitching out. It's when they try to have a conversation at the table. Hmm. Yep, look, it's really odd. I wonder if we can change... Whoa. I can't even get over there. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to just try and get her to finish her homework. Somehow. <laughs> this is really weird. We're going to put it in our inventory at least. Let's see if we can... It's so weird. Like, it just jumps about like crazy. I wonder if anyone else is getting this glitch. I'm just going to get... Doesn't look like we can add things here. Damn. Oh, she's going to sleep on a bench. Don't do that, Nicole. That's kind of weird. Why don't you get some food? Oops. Let's eat this curry. It's only when they sort of tried to talk to us when we sat down, it seems. What's Ruben up to? Oh, you want some fun. So yeah, why don't you play some basketball? Watch performance. No, don't do that. Play some basketball. Oh. Oh my gosh, she farted. That's so grim. Clara. We're going to do, I don't know what layup is, but we're going to have a go. <laughs> go on, have a go. Ooh, you did it. Oh, is Nicole watching? That's so cute. Oh, she's got a bad belly from the bell. Oh, look, a little friend for her. Yay, let's talk to this kid. What's this kid called? Uh, Myra. Let's have a chat with Myra. So we're going to enthuse about candy. And let's talk about toys. Oh, there's another little kid. Come on, Emma. Let's make some friends. Oh, bless her, she doesn't feel well at all. Oh my god, Nicole's still lying on the bench. Don't do that, why don't you go to the bathroom? It looks really nice when it lights up around here. So did that count as successfully promoting the cause? No, not started. She needs to find someone to convince to join her cause. How about this lady? Everybody is just dressed crazy in this town. We're going to give her a funny intro. Emma's chatting with Seema. So we're going to enthuse about candy. We're going to play make believe. Ask about her day. Let's talk to this kid as well. Make a silly face. And talk about toys. Ooh, level three of the social skill. Awesome. 
Nicole, you need to recruit some people. Aw, <clears throat> oh, Ruben, you should probably go to the toilet as well. Bless ya. Oops, don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> Talk about favourite animal and joke about nacho cheese. We're going to get this girl to join our protest. She looks angry. She looks like she needs to protest. Promote our cause. And we're going to promote our cause to this sim as well. Who is this? Anya. An Anaya? An Anya? I'm not sure. Join our cause. Oh, she was barely listening. Oh, no. Don't worry, we don't want your crazy ass in our t <laughs> joining our team anyway. <laughs> Let's try promoting our course to this girl. Oh, we've learned that she's mean. Come on, one of you's going to want to join this. Look at her heels. <laughs> oh, she looks eager. She looks eager. No. Oh, damn. We probably need to befriend people before we try this. I think we're going to have to head home, though, because everybody is absolutely exhausted. So we're going to travel back home with Ruben and Emma. Ooh, angry. Why is she angry? We'll have to check that when we get back. <laughs> okay, we're back home. So I think we're going to pop her in the she shower. She's going to take a cold shower and then go to bed. Um, Ruben, why don't you get some salad? Oh, you still got some curry in your bag. Eat that up then. Oops, sorry. If you heard my phone there, guys, I normally put it on uh silent and i forgot so what is she up to she is playing sims forever she's gonna take a shower once her mum is done what's up with you ruben eat that please i hope this table doesn't glitch out maybe it's just those park benches nope we've got a real problem here um Let's eat this and watch TV at the same time so that he sits on the couch, hopefully. Yep, she's going to take a shower and she better finish her homework off, I guess. How much did she get done? She got 50% done, so that's pretty good. And then go to bed yourself, young lady. And Rubian, you can go to bed once you've had your curry. And yeah, I think that will be nearly the end of this part. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Sorry about the glitchy benches. I don't know if that's just me or if it's affecting anyone else. Um, we'll see. Did she not have a shower? You were supposed to. Damn the call. Oh, she's singing in the shower. So the other thing I wanted to mention before I go is that this will be kind of like a generational let's play. So I have them on normal lifespan. So for my get to work, I had it on a long lifespan uh, just because I wanted to make sure I had enough time to do all the careers. Whereas this one is going to be generational. So once they've aged and die, and um, I'm going to let Emma age up into a teen in that at the right time. And I think... Ooh, this is definitely glitching out on me today. I think Emma is going to do the social media career because she is a social butterfly. And I think that will suit her very, very much. So we'll do that once she's aged into an adult, if we're still <laughs> going that long, I guess. But I'm sure we will be. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments or suggestions, drop them below. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye.